folks, so tonight I'm going to be moving a couple of heads on my MR Gauntlet uh, 6.8S. This is an old 90s vintage press that's going to help me get my screen printing business going. I've got my friend Marty who will be helping me. You'll see him on camera a little bit. And, you know, the unfortunate reality is my last press was a lot nicer than this and it could rotate in both directions. So I installed this press thinking I could make it spin clockwise. Well, I could if I ordered it from the factory that way, but I didn't order it from the factory. In fact, I didn't pay much for it, so I got one that spins counterclockwise, and that meant I have to revisit my whole shop layout, which is kind of frustrating. So, the simplest solution is to move my flash from my number three position in counterclockwise to my number two position in, or I'm sorry, number three in clockwise to number two in counterclockwise. So, I've got to take one head off, I take two heads off and kind of switch swap where they're at. So, um, as always, if you don't know what you're doing, have a professional come and mess it up for you. No, on a serious note, you should always be careful when you work on these things. I have a lot of experience doing this and I'm not, I'm not afraid of what could happen because there's just not that much that can go wrong. These are push to connect airlines, and so the first thing that has to happen is the airlines have to be disconnected, and then the second thing is I have to unhook all the electrical that I spent quite a bit of time figuring out. So at this point, I've got, oh, and then there's the buttons. So this head is completely loose at this point, and now I need to do the other head and if you do get up on top of the press, it can rotate on you, so just be aware of that and don't do anything stupid like, you know, nosedive off of it. I'm not super worried about the wiring here because I'm having some minor electrical issues and I've got an m and tech coming in on Thursday to help me sort it out and get this press back up and running. In the meanwhile, I can figure enough of it out on my own. Okay, so that head is loose. And so what we're going to do is we're going to unbolt this and the bolts are just finger tight because the, we're not finished setting this press up and um, what we're going to do is we're just going to get this loose Let's see if I can do this without having to flip the head around to you really need something magnetic to get these out. This has been one of my pet peeves with... <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to. I just don't want to do that with the other one because I've got a flash in it. Alright, if you want to grab the other end, when I loosen this bolt, it'll come loose. Oh. You know what, you should probably take your shirt off because that's kind of a nice shirt and it won't be when you're done. I'm not going to be fat on your video. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to be fat on your video. Alright. So you really need one of these Allen key extensions. You can do it with Allen keys alone, but it's just a lot harder way to do it. And sometimes they'll stick to the, to the wrench like that. And it is a two-person lift. Oh, 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 hang on. I guess. And there is a airline that goes to the cylinder that needs to be brought loose. All right, so I'm going to lower this. Oh, I was trying to get the bolt out. Yeah, just. Got it. What the hell is that? It's 
it's always fun when you tilt your press heads and you find new little tiny pieces and you don't know what they go to. All right, let's go ahead and drag that over there. <clears throat> now, this one might be, oh, we probably, it's going to be right where we're, let's like go over there. No, 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 dip. Yeah, that end. <sighs> this cut could be heavy or not. I'm holding that right here. Yeah, or a little further in. That thing weighs probably 30 pounds, so it just adds to it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a heater, so um, it can it can float in. But if you hold it right about here, it should be easier to live with. All right, I need you to pick up. Hang on, there's a washer in here. No, no, it's not going to come loose. All right. You unhook that black thing. Yep. And all these are loose. Do I the other one? Um, yeah, but hang on, you got to come back in. You, there's a there's a fitting there. Okay, we're good. Hmm. <sighs> I gotta go around. I'm gonna just jump up here because I don't I don't see another nice way <clears throat> to do this. I can get the second one and try to work it in. Yeah, no, it's really more of just jabbing it down so it doesn't. Yeah. Well, or it'll fall off the end. Um, on some of the presses, it helps to use electrical tape, but. This press doesn't seem to need that. And then you gotta make sure you don't have the wires. Hang on, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. I gotta make sure I haven't like gotten a wire underneath the washer. All right. It's really not that bad. Can you imagine if I had one with 12 or 14? Is that what you had? No, I had eights. I had the next size up. So let me jump up in here real quick. Bought a uh, a bigger one out of Kansas. Yeah, but it had really high mileage, and it, this one was way cheaper, and it will do what I need it to do.
right, so that's it. And uh, you know, this press is just loosely together. We'll finish tightening it when we get it up and running. And I've got the techs here to help me uh, figure out why it's not operating the way it should. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like this, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. 